Hi, hello friends, welcome to the channel. In today's session, we will be seeing the next half of the process plan and cost estimation unit 1. Question number 26. The engineering materials are classified as Option A, metals, Option B, plastics, Option C, ceramics, Option D, composites and Option E, all the above. We know engineering materials are classified as metals, plastics, ceramics and composites. So, we will be going with all the above. How many categories metals are classified? Metals are classified as ferrous and non-ferrous materials. So, I am going with option number A, 2. Metals are classified as, just so, metals are classified as two categories, that is ferrous and non-ferrous materials. So, option A is given as ferrous, option B is given as non-ferrous material, option C is given as A and both A and B and option D is given as none of the above. So, we are going with option B, option C, A and B. In how many categories plastics are classified? Plastics are classified as three categories. Thermoplastics, thermoset plastics and elastomers. So, we will be going with option number B. That is three. Option A is given as two. Option B is given as three. Option C is given as four. And option D is given as none of the above. So, we are going with option number B. That is three. I just told now. Okay. 30th question, the plastics are classified as, we just saw, plastics are classified as 3 categories, thermoplastics, thermosets and elastomers. So, we are going with option D, all the above. Okay, I am going to say, what is the difference between thermoplastic and thermoset plastic and elastomers? There is a common difference, okay. Thermoplastics and thermoset plastic are the same little bit, but thermoplastics are the plastics that can be reused again and again they can be heated they can be melted and can be reused again and again but thermoplastic plastic cannot be heated and reused they will be setting they will be set in one temperature and after using that or broken it cannot be reused again reformed again elastomers are simply our daily use rubbers all comes under elastomers some elastic properties having so, uh, so much elastic properties comes under the category elastomers. So, I am going with option number D, all the above. Plastics are classified as thermoplastic, thermoset, thermosets, elastomers and all the above. 31st question. Which of the following materials comes under, metals comes under ferrous metals? What is ferrous metals? The metals are having... Iron as their basic constituent is called as ferrous metals. We know option A is given as steel, option B is given as stainless steel, option C is given as cast iron. Okay, we know that uh, ferrous uh, metals contain iron as a basic constituent. So steel has steel as iron as basic constituent, stainless steel has iron as basic constituent, cast iron has iron as its basic constituent. So we'll go in with or D all the above. Which of the following metals comes under non-ferrous metals? Aluminium does not have ferrous as its uh, basic constituent. Copper also does not have its uh, iron as its basic constituent. Titanium also the same. So, I am going with option D, all the above. 33rd question. Which of the following materials comes under metals? You know, epoxides, it is not a metal. Aluminium is definitely a metal. Silicones are not a metal. Metal matrix is not a metal. Metal matrix comes under the category composites. And uh, silicones comes under the category elastomers. And we know elastomers that is a plastics. And we know epoxides also comes under the category thermosets. So will be the uh, we know aluminium as a metal here. Which of the following comes under thermoplastics? Option A, acrylates. Option B, nylons. Option C, polyethylene. Option D, all the above. Thermoplastics has three. Acrylates, nylons, polyethylene. So, we are going with the option number D, all the above. Question number 35. Which of the following materials comes under thermosets? Option A, epoxides. Option B, phenols. Option C, polyamides. Option D, all the above. Epoxides, phenols and polyamides comes under the category thermosets in plastics. So, we will be, go uh, we'll be going with option D, all the above. Question number 36. Which of the following materials comes under elastomers? Rubbers, silicones, polyurethane, all comes under the category 
elastomers elastomers have uh, more elastic properties so we'll be going with option number d here rubber silicones and polyurethane all have uh, high elastic properties so we'll be going with option number d all the above question number 37 which of the following materials comes under ceramics option is oxides option b nitrides option c glasses option d all the above Oxides, nitrates, glasses comes under the category ceramics. So we will be going with option number D, all the above. Question number 38. Which of the materials comes under composites? Option A, reinforced plastics. Option B, metal matrix. Option C, both A and B. Option D, none of the above. Composites have two categories. That is, comes uh, reinforced plastics, metal matrix comes under composites. So we will be going with option number C, both A and B. Which of the following properties fall under physical properties? Question number 39. Which of the following properties falls under physical properties? Option A. Color. Option B. Density. Option C. Melting point. Option D. All the above. We know color is a physical property. Definitely physical property. Density is also a physical property. Melting point uh, is a physical property. So I am going with option number D. All the above. Some of you may be thinking that melting point may be coming under thermal properties, but melting point melting point determines the change in state of the liquids or fluids. So melting point comes under the category physical properties. Question number 40. Which of the following quantities comes under chemical properties? Option A. Uh, corrosion resistance option b or atomic number option c specific gravity option d both a and b chemical properties the question is given us which of the following quantities comes under chemical properties corrosion resistant is a chemical property atomic number is a chemical property but specific gravity is not a chemical property so we'll be going with option number d both a and b question number 41 which of the following quantities comes under mechanical properties option a strength Option B, elasticity, option C, plasticity, and option D, all the above. We know mechanical properties, uh, strength is a definitely a mechanical property, elasticity is a mechanical property, plasticity is also a mechanical property, so we'll be going with option number D, that is all the above. Which of the following qualities comes under electrical properties? Resistivity, option A, resistivity, option B, conductivity, option C, dielectric constant and option D, all the above. Okay, which of the following qualities falls under electrical properties? Option A is given as resistivity, option B, conductivity, option C, dielectric constant and option D, all the above. Resistivity, conductivity and dielectric constant falls under the category elastic properties. So, we will be going with option number D, that is all the above. Question number 43, which of the following properties falls under magnetic properties? Relative permeability, option B, relativity, option C, retentivity and option D, all the above. Option A, relative permeability, option B, relativity, option C, retentivity, all the three comes under magnetic properties. So, we will be going with option number D, all the above. What is relative permeability? Relative permeability is permeability of his, uh, magnet, uh, the permeability of magnetic forces in a object under any medium to the permeability in vacuum that is uh, the ratio is called the relative permeability so th that is dealing with magnetic properties so it will be coming under magnetic properties okay what is relativity relativity is the ability of a material to contact magnetic flux so it also comes under magnetic properties what is retentivity the ability of a subs of a substance to retain or resist magnetization so it also comes under the category magnetic properties so we are going with option number d all the above what, question 44 which of the following properties falls under thermal properties specific heat option a specific heat option b thermal stress option c thermal fatigue and option d all the above we know specific heat thermal stress thermal fatigue also comes under falls under thermal properties so i'm going with option number d all the above okay for uh, question number 45, technological properties include malleability, option A, malleability, option C, mach option B, machinability, option C, weldability, and option D, all the above. In malleability, machinability, weldability, we will all be using machines. So, I am going with, so it will all come down the technological properties. So, I am going with uh, option D, that is all the above. 
Portion number 46. Aesthetic properties include. Option A. Appearance. Option B. Texture. Option C. Formability. Option D. Both A and B. Appearance and texture comes under aesthetic. It, uh, it is... Uh, it comes under the how the material looks. Appearance also comes under looks. Texture also comes under looks. But formability does not come under looks. So I'm going with option number D, both A and B. Question number 47. Economical properties include A. Raw material cost, processing cost, C. Availability, D. All the above. Raw material, economical cost includes raw material, of course, raw material cost, processing cost. That is also come, cost uh, definitely comes under economy. And availability also comes under economic properties because largely available, there will be low cost. Less availability, there will be high cost. So, all the three comes under economic properties. So, we will be going with option number D, all the above. Question number 48. Raw material, the materials which contain iron as a prime constituent is called option A, ferrous materials, option B, non ferrous materials, option C, both A and B, and option D, none of these. We know iron, uh, the materials having iron as a prime constituent is called ferrous material. So, I am going with option number A, ferrous material. For question number 49, steels are classified as carbon steel. Option A is given as carbon steels. Option B, alloy steels. Option C, low alloy steels. And option D, all the above. We know steels are classified as carbon steels, alloy steels. And carbon steels are also called as low alloy steels. So, Still, we are going with option number D, that is all the above. 50, 50th question. The most important alloy steels are stainless steels, tool steels, HSL Isla steels. And option D, all the above is given. Stainless steel is a definitely important alloy steel. Tool steel is definitely an important alloy steel. Isla steel is also a definitely important alloy steel. So, I am going with option number D, all the above. Hope you like this MCQ session. For more uh, videos like this, please subscribe the channel. Thank you. Bye.